What is up guys? How are you doing? Welcome back to the weekly ramble series. I hope you are having a fantastic week. So far mine's going pretty well. It's been very productive. I'm getting ahead on a lot of content which feels amazing and I'm actually going to talk a little bit about that in just a minute. But before I get into that, I just want to mention uh, this past podcast episode, the one that was released yesterday, was a modern update. Uh, we do these from time to time if you don't know or if you haven't been around for very long. Uh, we like to look at a specific format and just see where it is. Do we think it's healthy? What kind of decks we're seeing? We actually go into some of the statistics of top played cards, top played decks, things that are kind of either taking over or not taking over. A lot of really good information there. I just want to advise you if you're interested in Modern to go check out that video. Uh, it is really, really worth it, I think. Uh, you can also listen on the podcast app if you don't want to watch on YouTube or something like that. Uh, but it is an interesting episode. I found it really, really fun to actually take part in. Uh, but we do actually have next week, we're going to do the same thing, but for standard. So if anybody's looking for some information on standard or just kind of a brief update about what's going on in the new standard environment, what decks are taking over, that kind of a thing, uh, that's kind of the plan for next week. Uh, we wanted to give things a few weeks to kind of settle in. Uh, obviously with Ravnica Allegiance being released, we couldn't do it too early because there's going to be just tons and tons of changes. We might be a little bit early still, but uh, we just wanted to take a quick peek and kind of see where things are going. So uh, that'll give us our first look into the new standard environment. Keep in mind, obviously, as time goes on, things will be changing. Uh, these decks that we're going to be talking about in the next episode might not be the decks that stick around for very long, but we'll speculate on those things in that episode. So uh, again, if you're interested in standard, I do think it's worthwhile to watch. Uh, I think it'll be a really, really good episode. We haven't actually recorded it yet, but I'm stoked about recording it. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming out next Wednesday. Uh, we like to do these again every once in a while, and we really focus on modern and standard for these. We don't really delve into to legacy or vintage or anything like that just because they're smaller uh, not as widely played formats I will say uh, and so we want to make sure that we're appealing to hopefully most of you guys so uh, just keep an eye out for that uh, speaking of content though, uh, we've got some interesting content coming out, uh, kind of, well, it's been coming out, I guess, for the last, like, week or two, so, uh, as most of you know, we kind of wrapped up our January giveaway, we do these every month, uh, we kind of wrapped that up a week or two ago, and, uh, it was really, really successful, um, we had, uh, like, 450 people, or some, some crazy number of people enter, and it was an Instagram giveaway, so it was focused solely on Instagram, we didn't get anybody to subscribe to YouTube, we just wanted you guys to follow, repost, and then hopefully stick around to see what kind of content we actually throw out there. Uh, and part of the reason for doing that, one, we just hadn't done an Instagram giveaway in a while. Uh, we wanted to appeal to not just people who are looking to subscribe to other channels on YouTube, but also people on Instagram who kind of just want to scroll through Instagram and not really have to worry about watching videos or doing anything like that. So we thought it would be nice to kind of jump back, appeal to those people a little bit. Uh, and you guys did not disappoint, so thank you. But uh, part of that was also kind of behind the scenes. Uh, was to kind of get myself in gear to actually keep moving forward with Instagram. And the only reason I say that, not that we were like planning on quitting Instagram or anything like that, don't worry, but uh, we had, you know, we, we went through a period of time where we had a huge amount of growth in a very short amount of time, which was amazing uh, in terms of just people following us, people interacting with our page, people commenting, liking, all of that stuff. And it was a good sort of morale boost because it kind of keeps you going. And that's a really difficult thing to do uh, when you're a small channel or a small Instagram page or something along those lines. So that kind of kept us moving forward and it was great. It was a lot of fun. I was posting multiple times a day. Uh, it was my goal for every thousand uh, followers that we had to post two times a day. Uh, that was kind of my goal didn't always reach that, uh, but we were posting multiple times a day on a very regular basis and the interaction was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, but towards the end of 2018, uh, I kind of let things slide a little bit. I mean, I was still posting, but if I didn't post every day, I didn't really care that much. It like didn't bother me as much anymore. And we lost obviously a lot of interaction. We weren't gaining followers. We were kind of stuck around the 2300 mark for a very long time. Uh, and so we lost a lot of the, the interaction. People weren't liking as often, people weren't commenting as often. And so it kind of just, it spiraled. It was sort of this snowball effect where because I wasn't doing much on Instagram, we weren't getting much interaction. And because we weren't getting much interaction, I cared even less about posting on Instagram. 
And yes, tech, I mean, that just happens, unfortunately. That's always going to be the cycle every once in a while. But uh, I finally decided, you know what, we have to get out of this. We have to get our Instagram back up to where it was at the very least. Uh, and then hopefully kind of start growing it and growing it even more uh, because we had done such a good job with that in the beginning. And so I did the giveaway as kind of like a, hey, make sure you're doing this kind of on a daily basis. Make sure you're keeping up with this because you've got people coming now from this giveaway who are gonna be interested in seeing what content you post. If you don't post anything, why would they stick around? Why would they care? Uh, and so I made a few interesting posts. Uh, some of them have been around for a little bit. The card guests thing, uh, if you don't know what that is, basically I Photoshop out all of the text on a card except for like the artist and stuff. Uh, but I, if it's a creature, power toughness, they're gone. Creature type, uh, set uh, symbol, uh, effects, anything, that's all taken out. So you really just get the image. Uh, and you actually try and guess the card name. Uh, and sometimes people guess the actual card name. Sometimes people just say funny things, which is kind of the idea. It's meant to just be for fun. So if you have a funny one, I'm going to shout out Red Zone Gaming because he's the man. Justin uh, is a, a friend of our Instagram, I will say, and he's a really, really cool guy. Uh, and he happened to post just a couple really, really funny answers when we first kind of redesigned the card guests and kind of started it back up. Uh, and like, he just continues to blow it away. He posts, he posted on one today. Uh, that was just hilarious. So absolutely love that funny answers, real answers. Doesn't matter. I love the interaction. You guys have been killing it on the card guest thing. Uh, on top of that, very recently, uh, I started a little artist versus kind of series. So uh, a lot of this stuff, part of the idea behind this content is that I can backstock it. So I did like just today, I made like 20 posts that I can now kind of post throughout the next week or so. Uh, but it's also really engaging content. It gets you guys involved, which is really the idea. So um, the Artist Versus series is sort of like, let's take original art Bitter Blossom and let's take the reprint from Ultimate Masters and let's put the artists against each other and see who wins. So you guys in the comment section get to vote for whichever art for Bitter Blossom or what, indeed whatever card it is. And then we kind of look and see who has the cooler art. That's kind of all it is. It's friendly competition. Uh, and yeah, it's like, I don't want to make artists feel bad if they didn't get many votes or anything like that, but we're a small channel. I doubt that we have that big of an impact, but um, I, I think it's a really fun way to look at not only cards that are obviously really, really good and exciting to play with, but also the art of these cards and really focus on that and get interaction with just that. Uh, and so we started posting that series probably about a week or two ago, and it's been awesome. I absolutely love doing those. They're really fun to make, uh, to be honest. Uh, making that post is really exciting. Uh, making new posts in general is really exciting, but uh, making this series happen has been really, really fun, and you guys seem to be loving it. So. I just want to say uh, from the Instagram side of things, thank you guys so much because we've gotten, especially over the last couple of weeks, some really, really solid support. Uh, yes, partially due to the giveaway, and I was kind of expecting to see a drop off uh, after the giveaway had ended. And of course, we've seen a drop off in like profile visits and things like that uh, because most people aren't going to follow us necessarily. They're going to look at content and things like that. They don't necessarily have to visit our page for that. Uh, but um, we are still seeing a much higher number than I think we have ever seen on Instagram uh, and still profile visits, likes, comments, things like that. So thank you to all of you guys. I appreciate that you're enjoying the new content. We're trying to make sure that it's exciting. It's a little bit different, but it's engaging for you all. Uh, and it so far seems to be working. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. We'll continue. I'll do the best I can to continue posting as many times as I can uh, throughout the week, throughout the day. Uh, but you guys, awesome. Always love your support. You guys are the best. The last thing I want to mention really quickly moving off of Instagram uh, is just a really quick kind of plug. Now, I'm not sponsored by this person or sponsored by uh, this app, uh, but I really, really enjoy it. So MTG Manager, if you have a large scale collection, uh, I've searched far and wide for uh, collection management systems that I feel really, really work. Uh, and some of them have really good aspects as well as really bad aspects. Some of them are good most of the time, but sometimes they don't really work quite as well. And so I, I kind of had given up, uh, to be honest, until I kind of did a research last, uh, last night, actually. Literally last night, the night before recording this. That's healthy. Um, but 
I kind of did a quick search and tried to see what kind of management systems I could find. I had used TCG Player before where you can scan the cards. Uh, and so my initial intent was actually just to re-download that, give that another shot, because I know they had updated it since I have used it. And it wasn't a bad system, it just kind of lagged a little bit more than I would have liked. Uh, and so I was kind of planning to download that, but when I searched, I found MTG Manager. Um, and let me just say, I'm not usually one to just randomly plug uh, things like this. Everything has its, its pluses and minuses, everything has its flaws, everything is good in some ways, bad in others. But this MTG Manager tool seems fantastic. So downsides out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. You do kind of have to purchase slots. So you get so many slots of cards uh, that you can scan in. It does have a scanning system. It's extraordinarily quick. Like literally you flash it on the card and then all of a sudden it's like, here you have this many Snapcasters or something like that. And it's fantastic. But um, it's really, really quick, but you do have to buy the slots. So you can only do like say a hundred cards, individual cards at the very beginning. Uh, but you can purchase extra slots. It's not super expensive. Uh, the other kind of caveat to that is that for newer sets like Ravnica Allegiance, you have to buy uh, for like $2, you get 100 slots and you get the ability to scan cards from Ravnica Allegiance. You can scan them technically before that, but it won't add them to your collection until you've bought the set. That's a little weird to me. I'm not like a huge fan of that. It's a little money grabby, but uh, the tools themselves within the app are insane. Uh, the scanner, absolutely the, the most efficient and the quickest thing that I have seen in terms of collection management. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, the user interface is great. Uh, you're able to track the all the statistics that you'd ever want. You base everything off of TCG player costs, so you can actually sort things by TCG mid if you want or TCG low, however you feel like you want to do it, or market value, you can do it that way too. Uh, you can also kind of track how much money you've lost or gained uh, from your main collection. You can also sort out multiple collections. So if you just have a folder for your general collection and then like commander cards, uh, you can actually have a folder of commander cards that you wanna stick in that folder. Uh, and so it's it's really, really intuitive, user-friendly. I really have enjoyed it. I, I'm not, again, sponsored by them in any way. I just wanted to throw this out there as a quick, like if you're looking for this tool, MTG Manager seems like a great way to do it. The app itself is free. You can at least give it a shot. If you don't like it, don't feel like you have to use it by any means, but it is really, really good. So just want to throw that out there, uh, but I really enjoy that tool. I've been using it a little bit today as well. Fantastic. So that is it for the weekly ramble this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you're ready for the weekend. I hope you have a fantastic weekend doing whatever you're doing, hopefully playing some magic. Uh, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next weekly ramble video.